Sister's Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how we can turn our little diary, our little book, into a Klondike sandwich, an ice cream sandwich. We're going to use two colours, brown and white. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and place them on your loom as if they were the same band. And the configuration of our loom is such that all the columns are going to be the same height. So we'll make a start and we're going to be going two across the top like that then three pair one, two and three and the same for columns one and two one, two and three Oopsie. Make sure you push these down. I've got mine a bit twisted there, so I'm just going to move my hook around the inside of the bands and they straighten right out. So once you've done three pair here, we're going to move to white bands and do pair there and a pair there. The same on columns 2 and 1. Push them down. Remember we are doing a layer on this. And then back to your brown. And we're going to do another 3 pair down. Now push those down. We're going to put two each side here. So two on the left, two on the right, and we're going to put an end cap here like that. We're going to put our crossover bands on. I'm just going to place them across like this where you have the white bands and it's a single band by the way I'm sorry where you have white bands you're going to place a white crossover band one more here okay so we're ready to start looming we're going to go down past these end cap this end cap and pick up those top two bands and loom them. Oh, I'm only picking up one. Let's try that again. There we are. Hold your end cap in place so it doesn't fly off. Much better. Loom to the left and loom up. And we're just going to loom up until we get to that white band that goes horizontally across. So loom up here and up here up here and now what we're going to do push everything down we're doing our next layer which will be with white and pairs still pairs and place them on the loom up until this point you do not go up past there 
brush down so that you've got room. Two from here to here and two from here to here. Put a little end cap on this one. So one, two, and three around there. We're going to loom this right one because it's on the top to the right. Hold your end cap so you don't lose it. And loom that to the right. Now the left one to the left, and the middle one up. Keep looming. If it's tight, pop your hook around the outside of that peg to loosen it up. Oh, I'm going to move that one back down because I can just see we broke a band. We've got a broken band here, so I'm going to take that one out and replace it with a new one. Go under that crossover band, and I need it to catch. Oops, come here, little band. There you go. Needs to come through up here and up there. Now we'll redo that one. Gonna finish in the middle, just like with the uh, little diary, the little book. So loom across to the middle like that. Grab two brown bands. Oops, sorry. Poke it through the middle. Put your brown bands on your hook. Twist your hook so that the smooth side goes against those bands. Bring it out the other side. Up, over, off and into a slip knot. Let's take it off the loom and see if we have a yummy ice cream treat or not. Now, it can get quite tight when you've got so many bands on the loom. So I always end up using um, a hook to help me. The back end of a metal hook so it doesn't break. I think the only thing worse than broken bands is a broken hook. Okay, so I'm taking my my loom out of the way and I've turned it over. What I'm going to do is grab an S-clip 
then I'm going to place my S clip inside here. I use my little little peg, my little hook. So I'm going to place my S clip. Place my S clip inside here. I'm going to use my hook and go through. Let me see here. I have to go through. I'm going to move this down a bit so that it's inside this a little more so it's not so obvi obvious. Move it through a middle band here on my white on the sandwich portion. So pulling it through like that. And then I'm actually going to pull it through to the front of my sandwich like that and then back pick another spot so that you're not going through the same spot twice pull it back through so that it pops out here oh, I didn't do that terribly well let me try that again there's the ends here let's pop my hook through grab my bands pull through so I can see there we are and there's the end of my clip here that's what I want to clip them onto hide that underneath my sandwich just in there and there we have a Klondike's ice cream sandwich. Yum yum. <laughs>